from the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Justin Rudisell. All right, Justin, back on camera so we can see your smile this morning. <laughs> they made sure I was right here just on time. You're going to be on camera a lot in the morning. I've been so. standing here for two minutes. <laughs> Welcome. How's it looking out there? Good morning, you guys. Yeah, nice, quiet. A mild Thursday evening or Thursday morning, 66 degrees, a southeast wind at around 10 miles an hour. That dew point, fairly dry, relative humidity, only 63%. So uh, another great start to a summer-like morning as our summer is really starting to crank up and we're getting into the uh, heart of summer as we head towards the month of July. It's hard to imagine here July starts tomorrow. 66 degrees here around the metro, 71 up the turnpike there in Tulsa, 8 at 61, 69 uh, there in Medicine Park there in Lawton, 66 in Altus and uh, 60s uh, to lower 70, 71 in Woodward here this morning under a light south to southeast wind, occasional gusts at around 10. But those winds will pick up a little bit here uh, later on this afternoon and eventually become a little bit more breezy in nature as we head towards the holiday weekend. That will increase our moisture. We don't have moisture, especially with this time of the year. Low 50 dew points, that is some dry air, as uh, typically we're well up into the 60s and lower 70s, and that's where the air is down here across the Gulf Coast. Yesterday, dew points, you had to go all the way down to Houston to get the lower 70s. Now they've made it up to the southeast side of Waco and Shreveport, so it is advancing to the north. And you'll feel it, especially probably by tomorrow evening and over the weekend. It'll become a little bit more uncomfortable to be outside with that humidity. Here today, lots of sunshine. It will be hot with the UV index in a very high category, but not much or not much uh, humidity and a slight breeze will help to cool you down, especially in the shade. We'll go lower to middle 90s here across central and eastern Oklahoma, some upper 90s out towards west. So pretty typical. We should be in the lower 90s for this time of the year. Big a bubble of high pressure, clear skies, so not much in the way of cloud cover anywhere across the state or in that matter into the southern plains. But tropical low probably won't form into a depression. There is a couple, a little bit of wind shear and uh, conditions are just not favorable for it to become a tropical storm or a hurricane, but it is tropical in nature, so it has a lot of tropical moisture. And this may meander its way off towards the north, but it looks like it might stay just to the southeast of the state and weekend. So we've kept those rain chances there on Sunday, but I had a 10% now instead of a 20% chance here across the metro. But overall, 4th of July forecast, sunny, hot, a little humid, a little bit of south breeze. Pretty much an Oklahoma 4th of July weekend here across the state. We will increase that humidity, so future heat indexes will get into the dangerous category for Sunday, and especially next week because com combination between the humidity and the actual temperature that will be up into the upper 90s to near 100, will produce that uh, heat index 100 to 105, maybe a location a little bit closer to 110. So overnight low temperatures with the increase in humidity will be warmer tonight, okay? Lower 70s, and then we'll rebound into the middle 90s to upper 90s here for your Friday afternoon. Friday evening and overnight, a couple isolated showers and thunderstorms might come out of Kansas and in northern Oklahoma as they're weakening. Saturday, copy and paste forecast. Summer heat. It's lots of sunshine, an afternoon, evening thunderstorm out in the panhandle with that increasing moisture southeast Oklahoma by the evening, an isolated shower. And then on Sunday, that weak weather system with that tropical moisture couldn't rule out. A couple clouds, maybe a pop-up shower, especially eastern and southeast Oklahoma, and then off the, the front range of the Rockies into the panhandle. But overall, it is a dry-looking forecast for the next nine days with lots of sunshine, increasing humidity as we head towards the weekend. A couple clouds around, that slight chance of a shower on Sunday. And then upper 90s to near 100, middle of next week. We'll be back.